The Council of Agriculture estimates that damage to agriculture and fishing industry caused by the recent cold snap may amount to almost 3.23 million NT dollars. Prices for various Lunar New Year staples like leafy greens and seafood may rise considerably more than in past years. The worst affected municipalities include Miaoli County, Hualien County, and Taoyuan City. Wholesale market workers busily pack an array of fruits into gift boxes for the Lunar New Year. Wax apples and jujubes are usually the top sellers for the festival, though the recent cold snap has hit harvests and may lead to a considerable rise in prices. The jujubes have all dropped off the branches. There's only about a third left that's still sellable. As for wax apples, we're not sure yet, but the price will definitely go up quite a bit. All of these fruits were ripe before the cold snap, ready to be harvested just before Lunar New Year. But the unrelenting cold has taken a drastic toll on the fruit and vegetable harvest. This year, production of leafy greens like cabbages was already low, but that's been exacerbated by the cold snap, which may cause further price hikes. The damage from the cold is very serious. The harvest has decreased by at least a third. Spinach, bok choy, crown daisies, Fukuyama lettuce, and other leafy greens are all damaged by frost, so prices for all of these will go up. Fish is also a Lunar New Year staple, but the fishing industry estimates the cold snap will drive seafood prices up by 20% or more this year.